If you want to learn how to wood burn a hat the correct way, you clicked on the right video. Let's get started. When starting to wood burn a hat, the first tip that I have for you is to get yourself some white chalk. That way you can easily draw your outline on the hat and if you mess up, you can just brush it off and it'll be erased. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I would outline on my hat. So here we have our chalk outline for our hat. Next, what you're gonna do is take your wood burner and just go over everything that you just drew. Now, something that I just want you to remember and probably the most important tip I'll give you is to be sure not to burn a hole into your hat. It's not super easy to do, but if you leave your wood burner on a spot too long, it is gonna burn a hole through your hat. So that's just something good to remember before you get started. Another tip that I want you to remember is to change the tips of your wood burner. A lot of times I don't do this just because I'm too lazy, but let me tell you, it really does make a big difference and I'm learning to do it a lot more. If you want to keep your wood burner warm, you can just unscrew and screw it on the tips with a pliers and then you're good to go. So as you can see right now, we just have the base of our hat and you're probably like, that doesn't look that great. I'm gonna show you guys how to go in and add designs and make a lot of dimension in your hat. So let's start with these leaves. I changed to this sort of tip so that I can add little designs like this right by all of my leaves. What you also are gonna want to do is add extra lines around all of these vines that are on your hat. So let's do that and check back in. Something else that really helps add dimension is going through and making some of your outlines darker. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna go in and make it a lot darker. It really helps some parts of your hat just stand out and add a little bit more dimension into it. And now you really can see how much of a difference that that made. So next we're gonna go into our mountains, our pine trees and our sun, and we're gonna just add some detail in there. So what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of texture in here and what you want to do is just lightly take your brush and you're just going to kind of rub it along the mountain and it'll give it a little bit of added texture and design to it and a little bit more dimension. You also can go in and just add a few darker lines and there it just makes it look a little more realistic and a little bit more done. So go ahead and do that onto your designs. And another tip that I have for you while you're working on that is to just embrace your mistakes. You're not going to make anything perfect. It's really easy to make mistakes with your wood burner. It's easy to accidentally touch a side or anything like that and you really just need to learn to embrace your mistakes and make some added details out of them. And once you have all your designs complete, the last thing that I would add are a couple X's and lines on the top of your hat. I'll show you what I mean. Just like that. And then over here you can add some lines. It just gives your hat a little more texture and a little bit more finish. And one last tip that I have for you guys to remember is to just enjoy wood burning your hat. Don't be too nervous about it, just really enjoy it and really put yourself into your hat. It's going to turn out great and you're going to have a lot of fun doing it as well as you get to go wear a really cool hat now. If you liked what you saw today, be sure to check out the other video I made on hat burning.